1.1G, whole numbers and decimals. Multiply whole numbers. When we're multiplying whole numbers, we need to remember to multiply all of the digits together. We also need to remember to use a zero to hold place values. After we have finished multiplying, we add There are different ways to show multiplication. Many of us have seen the X, where this shows 2 times 3. Another way to show it is with a dot, or 2 dot 3, which also means 2 times 3. Another option is using parentheses in which you have two parentheses three, which also means two times three. And finally, both numbers can be in parentheses, showing that we also have two times three. Something to remember is if you have a number outside of parentheses and a number inside of parentheses, without a symbol between them, it means multiplication. In example one, we have 23 times 56. We first write these numbers vertically. We do not have to worry about place value and lining them up, although in this number they line up perfectly. We are now going to multiply. We start by multiplying six times three, giving us 18, remembering to carry, 6 times 2, giving us 12, plus 1, which is 13. We have now multiplied the 6 by both the 2 and the 3, so we move to multiplying the 5. We will need to put a place value of 0. We now have 5 times 3 is 15. Once again, carrying a 1, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Now that we have multiplied all of the digits, we now add 8 plus 0 is 8, 3 plus 5 is 8, 1 plus 1 is 2, and finally the 1. This results in the answer of 1,280. In example two, we once again start by lining up the two numbers. 167 times 48. Once again, place values happen to have lined up, but it is not necessary. We start with eight times seven which is 56, carrying the 5. 8 times 6, which is 48, adding the 5, which then gives us 53. We then have 8 times 1, which is 8, adding 5, which gives us 13. We need to remember to place our zero as a placeholder before moving on to the second digit. Also, it is very good to cross out the numbers that you carried from the previous example as to not confuse yourself with the second number. Four times seven is 28, carrying a two. Four times six is 24, plus 2 is 26. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. We now add this number, and we get 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 8 is 11, carrying a 1, 1 plus 3 plus 6 is 10, carrying a 1, and 1 plus 1 plus 6 is an 8. 
This results in the number 8,016. When multiplying whole numbers, remember that you must multiply all the digits together, use a zero to hold place values, and after multiplying, you must add. Also remember, there are many different ways to show multiplication, such as the x, the dot, and parentheses.